West is already at war with Russia and their weapons strike Russian territory. Lavrov. The West is already at war with Russia and the weaponry it supplies to Ukraine is being actively used to strike deep inside the country. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov told, The top diplomat has dismissed repeated claims by the US and its allies that they somehow restrict Kiev from using Western-supplied weapons to attack Russian territory. Any such statements are tricks that the Americans are trying to feed to their public opinion or to NATO members, Lavrov argued. American weapons are already being used against various targets outside the combat zone, he added. We proceed from the fact that American and other Western weaponry strikes targets on the territory of Russia, primarily civilian infrastructure and residential areas. While Lavrov did not cite specific cases, Ukraine attacked on Crimea with US-made ATA CMS ballistic missiles packed with cluster warheads. The Russian military reported the interception of three such munitions in the area, with the region's governor, Sergei Askyanov, stating the attack had also damaged an empty commercial property near the city of Alushta. Lavrov's remarks come amid a renewed push in the US to officially allow Kiev to use American weaponry to strike targets in Russia. Earlier this week, a group of US congressmen appealed to Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin, asking him to permit Kiev to do so, as well as to increase overall military assistance to Ukraine. In addition, US media reports have suggested Secretary of State Antony Blinken has been actively pushing the administration of President Joe Biden to enable Kiev to strike deep into Russia. The contrasting positions of Moscow and the collective West apparently stems from differences on what exactly they acknowledge as Russian territory. Moscow treats formerly Ukrainian territories, namely Crimea, the Donetsk and Lugansk People's Republics, and Kherson and Zaporozhye regions as integral parts of its territory, while Kiev and its Western backers still consider them to be Ukrainian. Two people were hurt after gunfire erupted at a high school graduation ceremony in Oakland, California. Oakland Police Robert Trevino said officers responded to Skyline High School after reports of a shooting inside the school while graduation was underway. When officers arrived at the school, two victims, a man and a woman, were found to be suffering from gunshot wounds. Trevino did not give ages, but said both victims are adults. They were both transported to the hospital by ambulance and were reportedly in stable condition. A witness who identified himself only as Larry told the Chronicle that he was at a parking lot across from the school when he heard multiple gunshots then saw throngs of people running. A video posted to social media showed a woman at the scene talking about what she saw and heard, I was waiting for my daughter. She was here to see the graduation for her two best friends and we just heard two bangs. I saw people running. I told my husband, I don't think those were fireworks. As I saw people running and the vendors leaving, the first thing that came to my mind was I got to go get my little girl. A high school graduation to end like this is horrible. Authorities are investigating reports that a dispute preceded the shooting but have so far not disclosed a motive or what the potential dispute could have been about. Police say that this appears to be an isolated incident and that there are multiple suspects but have not yet released the identities of those who are suspected to be involved. Skyline High School was placed on lockdown immediately following the incident but that was lifted shortly after the incident took place. Thank you.